The Air Force is looking to give its F-35s a big boost in range by adding external fuel tanks to the fighter as a part of its massive Block 4 upgrade that already includes a powerful new radar array, improved infrared targeting, and situational awareness systems, a huge boost in electronic warfare capabilities, and a slew of new weapons, some of which are still classified. Now, this is not the first time Lockheed Martin or others have explored the idea of adding drop tanks to the Joint Strike Fighter. As the War Zone has reported, studies were conducted between 2004 and 2007, and then again around 2018, with Lockheed Martin reportedly experimenting with both 480-gallon underwing fuel pods and slightly smaller 460-gallon ones. In 2019, Israel announced that they had completed design studies for the integration of even larger 600-gallon drop tanks as well as conformal fuel tank designs for their F-35I, which is an Israeli variant of the Runway Queen F-35A. Now, drop tanks are carried under wing on external pylons, and they get their name from the practice of dropping them prior to a fight. Conformal fuel tanks, on the other hand, hug the fuselage of the fighter, producing less drag and, with careful design work, maybe even less negative impact on the fighter's stealth. And there's at least some evidence to suggest that tanks like these, either underwing or conformal, may have been a vital part of Israel's airstrikes against Iran last month, giving its F-35Is enough range to fly all the way to Iran and back without the need for mid-flight refueling. However, the F-22 Raptor is also amid a massive $11 billion-plus overhaul that includes the Low Drag Tank and Pylon program, which aims to not only provide the Raptor with new drop tanks, but new stealth drop tanks that allow the F-22 to fly further while maintaining its stealth profile. And just as importantly, these new tanks are meant to break away completely clean from the fighter, leaving no gaps or seams that could produce an unwanted radar return. Now, Lockheed officials have already gone on record to say that these tanks could be modified for use on the F-35, and it is worth noting that all F-35s built to date already include the in-wing plumbing necessary to quickly add drop tank capabilities. The addition of two 600-gallon stealthy drop tanks would provide another 8,000 or so pounds of fuel to the F-35A. Now, the Air Force's F-35s already carry 18,498 pounds of fuel internally, which gives them a very respectable combat radius of some 670 nautical miles, roughly 770 normal miles for those of us who aren't pirates. So these new drop tanks could stretch the F-35A's combat radius or the distance it can fly out to deploy its weapons and then fly back on internal fuel alone to more than 1,100 miles with a combat load. But adding drop tanks to the F-35 is not as simple as just bolting them on, even if the plumbing's already there. Lockheed reportedly struggled with the aerodynamics of their first 480-gallon drop tanks that they tried for the F-35 years ago, before they attempted a complete redesign with smaller 460-gallon tanks. And it isn't currently clear if the F-22's 600-gallon tanks could resolve the problems they were having. And, of course, the impact underwing pods could have on the jet stealth would need to be carefully considered. But it is worth noting that, of course, not all missions require stealth. And even more importantly, if Lockheed Martin does manage to make stealth underwing drop tanks for the F-35, well, that could also lead to stealth underwing weapon pods to increase the F-35's internal weapons carriage capabilities while flying with a stealth profile. And that alone makes this effort well worth paying attention to. Now, this is an Air Force effort, but if you ask me, external fuel tanks could have an even bigger impact on the Navy's carrier-based F-35Cs. And we actually did an entire video about that very thing just about a year ago. So if you'd like to learn more about the broader implications of external fuel tanks for Navy strike fighters, make sure to check out this video next.